USA BioOlympiad. Started in 2003 and continues now. We're coming up all on our 18th year that we've had this particular competition. This is a scene from one of the national workshops where students are looking at dry ice. <laughs> this is probably, this is the first time they actually get to have some lab experience that we know of in the program itself. Other than that, this is the schedule and Michelle will tell you about the schedule right now. So registration for the USABO is now open. So the teachers and the students can register to enter the competition. The registration will close on December 4th for students and December 11th for teachers and schools. And then payments of $95 per school will be due in January. And that $95 covers every student that's participating in the school, whether it be one student or a hundred students. Or a thousand. <laughs> a thousand, yeah. We welcome a thousand students. So the goals, the goals of the USABO are aligned with those of the International Biology Olympiad, of which we are considered one of the national bio-olympiads of 80 around the world. It's to look at not only gifted biology students, this particular competition is for all students nationwide. What we've found is that students have hidden talents, all right, especially in the, the life sciences. And we encourage every student to take this exam. And what we've found is they have a great pride in participating in that because it allows them to see how they stack up against other students ar around the country. And it's that curiosity, we do want to nurture that curiosity and empower them in the life sciences. The uh, International Biology Olympiad is going on an, an extension this year where they're actually doing uh, independent research projects with all the students that were part of the International Biology Olympiad challenge, of course, that was virtual. And uh, there are 50 teams and on those 50 teams, they are represented with students from four different countries, and the mentor is from a different country, and then they have a professor from a different country. And they're right now in the stages of identifying that problem and beginning their research. All of that research will be available online, either in a PowerPoint, a presentation, or a paper. So I encourage you to keep looking at the USABO site for that. And so that goes right along with the next one. We encourage that international component. We have students working around the world who were part of the USABO and part of the International Biology Olympiad. And they don't necessarily have to go to the IBO to be part of that international competition. You'll find that our students, they connect back and forth just like students do and everywhere. They all have their networks, okay? So we have a USABO uh, Facebook page. Some of the students have other pages that they share information on. And so you'll see that wonderful synergy with the kids here and across the world. And of course, into leadership and biology-based careers all over. We have them at the Broad, uh, some with their own labs. It's amazing what these students are able to do and propel themselves in their careers. Question, Kathy? So the, so the test will be online this year, and what will that look like? It will look just like any online test, all right? It's gonna be given at one time. The open is gonna be on February 11th. It'll be at 4 p.m. Eastern time. We are working with Art of Problem Solving. That, that organization will actually be administering it. Students will receive the exam that will be password protected. And then just as the time to start the exam comes, they will receive a password to open it. Teachers will be uh, proctoring. And then we also have developed over the summer, I was fortunate to develop a proctoring system with uh, 70 of our alums where we did a combination of uh, Google and Zoom. And that's open to people that, you know, teachers that don't have that capacity to do it. But that's what that's going to be. Long answer, but yes, all of our exams now will be online. So as far as the competition, the open exam, we have about 8,500 students. We, we have 10,000 that say they're going to do it, but we really have about 8,500 at most that actually take the exam. That's called down for the semifinal. Uh, the open exam is a 50-question exam taking over 50 minutes of time. The up 600 students go on to take what's called the semifinal, a much longer exam. It's two hours. It has two multiple choice components, one more challenging than the other, and then an essay component where we take a look at what students' ability is to write their mathematical skills, that sort of information. 
The top 20 students on that semifinal exam go on to the national finals. National finals is a two-week training program. This year we held it all virtually. We had 130 Zoom sessions. We had the Distinguished Lecture Series, invited professors. We even had a Nobel laureate come in and help the students. But plenty of, believe it or not, lab time and lecture time was provided to these students. During that time, they took a six-hour theoretical exam, and then they went on to take three practical exams that over a period of a day, almost the whole day. Uh, out of that, four students were identified as the top Team USA. They called the USA Bio Olympia Team USA. They went on to the International Biology Challenge, which was also virtual, and the U.S. came out with three gold medals and a silver medal. And Kathy, we have a follow-up to the online exam question. Mm -hmm. So will the online exams, are they just for now or will they be online in the future as well? A plan is that they're going to be online in the future as well. This is one of the uh, resource areas of the USABO that's available to teachers and to students. Each one of these, when you click on that, gives you links that pair up with the International Biology Olympiad curriculum. There are labs, there are lectures, there are talks, YouTubes, simulations, almost anything you can imagine right, is there for students to use for studying. Next is the Student Resource Center. If you go to our regular uh, webpage, it's called the Student Corner. Many of these things are already on the Student Corner and they include links to, the, not the links to the IBO curriculum, but general study sources, books that USA BO alums recommend, scientists they might know, fun sites that are recommended by the national finalists that they use to study for the finals and for the semifinal. Those are really used extensively. And the last one that we put on this year was a 2020 semifinal exam to show students and the public what type of information our students are responsible for on that. And the not only the depth, but the breadth of information. That's what's different about the Biology Olympiad. It goes over a whole area of curricula. It's not honed in on just one little area. This is a poster that's developed for the students. They can start what's called a USA Biology Olympiad Club. On the uh, student corner, there's a set of instructions to do that. There are some links to USA Bio Clubs across the country where they can contact others and set it up. And this explains the tiers. The first tier being the open exam, which is February 11th. Semi-final, which will be April 16th. Third tier, which is the national finals. And we hope it's going to be in person, but we don't know. And that's open to 20 students. And then tier four, these are the ones that actually were our Team USA and brought home the medals for us. And next year, the Olympiad International one is going to be in Lisbon. And they are looking at virtual as well as on-site. And this is a picture of four of our winners in Switzerland. Uh, the gentleman on the left there was first in the world. The gentleman next to him was second. Lee was third, the gentleman, and Catherine was sixth. That's quite a thing for seeing your students. The gentleman on the left is working on the COVID right now in New York City on a research project. Uh, Nikhil, right next to him, has started four different businesses. All of his businesses are outreach to help those that are underserved. Um, he's a very creative. He's written some books, too, that are being used as resources for writing algorithms and mathematical components. Next one is Li Ding. He's a specialist in neuroscience, working out of Germany right now. Catherine didn't stay with the biology. She decided that she was better as an accountant, so she's one of the uh, CSA, right, a leading accountant right now, and she actually works for MasterCard. And this one shows you the friendships that these students, these are face-to-face -face friendships, Vietnam and all of our students over on the right. But this is one of the collegialities that you see. And when we did the International Biology Challenge this year, when it was virtual, that was one of the things that we were all worried about. How are these kids gonna connect? Kids have a way and they are connected like you would not believe. So they are back and forth all the time, helping each other go through all of these things. So we're very proud of them. So. Please visit us and register. Have your students register at that particular site. Let's see, any questions? So we have one question, Kathy. So what is the expectation of the teachers? Teachers this year have less of an expectation than they've had previously. Previously, they were responsible for 
downloading exams, getting scantrons together, forms together, all of that. That's all been automated. They will no longer see the exam. The first time the exam will be public will be when those students are actually taking the exam. The forms for those students to complete about uh, the honor code and for the uh, teacher will be also at that particular time. We're allowing time for that. So that'll all be done online. Uh, the major thing that teachers can do is to help them if they do a USAB club, to help them prepare for it. Some teachers do it on a weekly basis. They do it through their science club or they have a USABO club. But the big thing is to support those students going through this. And they're the best ones. They're right on contact with. Any other questions? And what grades are eligible for the USABO? Grades 9 through 12. And by the way, we've had ninth graders go to the International Biology Olympian and medal. That's something else you should know. Our students since 2003 have always medaled at the International Biology Olympiad, and twice we've been number one in the world. Our kids, they're amazing. They're just amazing. And these are our sponsors. We have an array of sponsors. If some of you know of someone that would like to sponsor the uh, USABO, we'd welcome their participation as well.